Welcome everybody. This is Dark Queen. I hope you all have somewhat recovered from KVK over the last weekend. Um, we got stuck with, uh, it, ours didn't turn out so hot. Let's say it that way. We did not win. Um, and, uh, the kingdom that we fought was actually a two-year-old kingdom. We fought 860 for all you guys out there. Hey, um, and it really, it was really different than the last time we fought. Um, I think we, I don't remember the kingdom number. I think it was, oh man, I don't remember who we fought the last time we did KVK. But this time we fought a very old kingdom and it was, it was a little bit more difficult um, because there was really like, for anybody who was smaller, like the in-between category where you're big enough that you can be hitting stuff, but you're not, like, super ready to be knocking out, you know, trying to zero to somebody at, like, 300 billion power or something. And um, it was pretty rough. So, <laughs> needless to say, we lost, but that's okay. Um, since I've been playing, this is only my second KVK. So, uh, we ha are one for one since I've started playing. So... We'll see what happens. At any rate, this video I am making um, because I want to talk a little bit about... Um, I had someone ask me about the 6 core and um, how I would set it up and use it. Um, from what I've read and heard and understand is that it would be really easy to use the 6 gear to... Um, hit somebody with like 60 billion troops um with like no hero home and get them i have not tried this this i do not know so but i read that so you take it with a grain of salt you want to try it more power to you mind you again and i will always try to remind you guys of this research and troop building need to go hand in hand in the beginning once you get to the point where you have a ton of your research done, then you can go hog balls wild with building troops. But don't like from the get, get a little bit of research done and then you're able to build all your troops and then just go nuts building troops and never go back to your research because it just isn't going to do you any good. Your research is going to make your heroes stronger. It's going to make your troops stronger. And without... Um, keeping the research and the troop building at a kind of an equal pace while you're growing, it's going to end up getting you in trouble in the future. So, um, and also for all y'all out there, make sure you're saving your resources because my research is almost done and I've burnt through like 500 trill in, in resources. As you can see from up here at the top, my res my resources I've got about 40 to 60 of stone wood and ore, but I have no food. And I do have a ton more silver than that, but I'm leader, so obviously I don't put that in there. I have just a ton of, of silver. It's absolutely ridiculous. If they gave food away the way they gave silver away, I would be such a happy camper. At any rate, when you are going to make gear... Um, there is a set, there's a couple sets. Now, I quite frankly am not too concerned about wearing a specific set when I'm crafting the gear, although I do have this power shame and I don't have it gemmed because I'm really not concerned with that, but it is set up so that um, I save money when I am powering up any gear. So, um, and as you can tell, I'm out of cores at the moment. So that's what we're going to be doing. Whoops, let's go back here. Okay, so this is my power crafting blessing type stuff. And as you can see, now some people actually use this as a defense gear because it does have um, higher defense. But I, quite frankly, just use it to, I slap it on to create a core um, because I do get longer core time out of uh wearing it and uh i get to save some money if we look at my hero tree 
on that, I get to save some uh, power essence when I'm powering something up. And there's only a couple spots to help you with that. But you do have your spots on your hero tree for crafting speed. Um, what else you got? <laughs> Core high range boost, duration. That's going to make it longer. Um, what else do I have on this one? And then I all the way down here, I think it is. Here we go. Gear salvage and brake boost and power up efficiency. So those are really important to help you save that power essence because if you are not wearing this and you don't have it boosted to save for power essence, you will burn through your power essence so fast building cores and, um, and you don't want to do that. So you definitely want to make sure that you switch over your gear before you go to power a core. And my best advice is, is like, when you get on and you first start playing before you get knee deep into anything, go ahead, get your cores created that you want, you know, for the day or whatever. Lord only knows most of us have a ton of them. And then, um, and get them all set up ahead of time. Cause you don't want to be like sitting at a tile, trying to fight for a tile and crafting gear and, and powering it up, sitting there at the tile. Cause you're kind of a dead giveaway. If somebody looks at your gear and sees that, what you're wearing so that's really kind of a, a giveaway and you don't want to have to be doing that so I recommend getting them done you know when you first get on and then go out and do your thing because it just makes for so much better of a surprise when you flop gear at the last second now um to create your six core um you know if you've bought packs recently then you have um, a ton of, of new, you've got, you know, all kinds of stuff you can do. But you're going to have to swap your pieces out first, your pieces and your cores, to make sure that you have everything open in order to build the set um, for yourself. And then once you are at a certain VIP level, you'll be able to just VIP craft the set, which just makes everything you need at one time you don't have to manually go in and make your headgear and your and your foot gear and so on and so forth this will craft the entire set for me um with my bonus uh this was a little bit longer to craft i think uh my legends and some of them other ones don't cost as much time but um you want to keep the window open and craft it if you don't know that because I personally like to um, just go ahead and do my gem set. Now, in this core, you'll want to do your frozen health gem set, which you can see right here. Um, this way, it's going to provide you the best stats um, for this set. Okay, and there we go. Now we've crafted it, and I'm going to stick it in this one slot just because it's right at the top and it's easier for my presets. Personally, I know when I was first trying to get used to uh, the presets and the hero presets and all this little bit right here is a little bit confusing when you're first getting started. Um, I always, uh, at first I, I put them here on the first 10, somewhere in the first 10 I did. And I I think two or three times I accidentally equipped core gear and I didn't mean to. So I learned real quick that um, I better get better at this. And so while I was still getting used to what preset was what and how everything worked, um, I actually put all my cores 11 through 20 and on so that I didn't have to worry about accidentally equipping uh, a core when I didn't mean to. Now, I'm a little bit better with that and I won't usually don't do it. And if I do, I guess I'll just go find something to beat up with it because I really have no other need for it. I just bought a pack the other day. So now I've got a bunch of extra gear I have to go in and break. And, um, and I'm actually going to make another video about that. 
simply because um, from my experience with people understanding the difference between break and salvage and and what what when you do which and so that is kind of a um a problem because honestly i want you to get the max amount of power essence back that you can because like you know once you once you power up your um you know your defense and your research gear and all that you really don't have to worry about that again but each and every core, if you plan on using them to their maximum potential, you're going to want to boost them. And that can become quite costly if you don't do it right. So now we've set up the whole entire gear here, the whole entire core, the six core. And we're going to look at this set. Um, the six core uses infantry. Um, infantry is, is what you'll send with uh they get the highest um percentages uh boosts with this gear so you definitely want to uh use infantry when you're using this core now one thing i've noticed that a lot of people do when they go to set their cores up is that every single time you set up a new core you must set the special bonuses like it doesn't you know even if you've got a preset and you've named it and you've done all this you need to set the special every single time and so a lot of people miss out on some benefits by not doing this so and another thing that people don't always understand is is you can reset these special bonuses now you've got you've got the full base or the free base set which is the five and then full be uh, base set that's seven. So the five is these first couple. And, and as I reset this uh, free base set five, you see that the top one's just changed. So now my cavalry defense is up and, and uh, for strategic and wild and all that. Um, and I can do this again until I find exactly what I would like to keep it at. Um, and in this case, I'm looking for either, um, let's see, that's an enemy wild infantry attack debuff. I'm looking for something for me personally, the way I do this. Um, I like just to roll with the extra troop attack bonus, um, most of the time, just because that's an overall, it's going to help out everything kind of deal on my end. And then if you notice, we still haven't changed these bottom couple here, which is the uh, enemy wild uh, infantry attack debuff. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of those like, and that's insane. Now I'm going to be sending infantry. So the chances are, because some people don't realize that like certain ones beat other ones better. Like most people get that. But a lot of people don't, so they get really, really, uh, they don't really pay attention to what they're actually sending versus uh, what they're trying to attack. So it's, it's kind of a big thing. Now, those are really good boosts for the infantry attack debuff, but just out of curiosity, I'm going to look and see what else we get. Okay, here's a troop attack bonus and an extra troop attack bonus. Those are really good. Like that's a lot of extra troop attack there. And so I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, but, you know, it's it's ultimately, you know, I'm not a huge, huge stats person. And I'm still, and at certain points, I still am learning some things myself. Um, so it's all up to you what you end up doing for that. Now, of course, you would want to um, attach a hero um, preset to this for attack in this case and this core is almost ready to go now we need to go power it up and uh we go into our workshop and we've got our power shaming gear on so this is going to save us a ton of money and um or a ton of power essence i should say now on all cores you can only power them to seven and um as you can see as you watch these numbers down here they increase pretty quick, but with this set, with the six set, we are 
um, increasing our infantry attack uh, across the board. And it goes up pretty significantly um, each time that we power this gear up. But again, we're also, you know, this is with my discount basically because I'm wearing the gear. I'm, I'm getting these discounts. Now, if I would take this gear off, let's just leave it right here. To power up to level six with the gear on, I need 299,999. Let's switch over to a gear that I don't have the boosts on. And let me just show you how much of a difference we're talking about here. Let's go back and find our piece. Here we go. Now look, look at how much power essence I need in order to power this gear up. I need 3,461,538 power essence to power this gear up to the next level. So, and so you can see it saves you an absolute ton when it comes down to, uh, oops, when it comes down to powering up your gear. And you want to make sure you get every piece done. That's why I generally go across the board here and make sure that um, I get everything. The weapon, the helmet, you know, that kind of stuff. And so because, you know, you're really missing out if you don't get everything. And as you can see, again, this is for an infantry attack and... This is, you know, really boosting up the infantry on this gear. Do, do, do. So you're really becoming quite something to be reckoned with <laughs> at this point in this gear when you are using infantry for your send. Now we're just going to finish um, powering up these last few. We just got these three and then the foot gear. And then we have a fully powered set. And we'll go look at the stats before it's powered up. Or before I put it on. I'm not going to put it on right now. Because I have no reason to put it on at the moment. Because I just started. I just got on here just a little bit ago. And I figured it's been a couple days since I made a video, so I thought, well, now will be a good time to do it. Um, when you are creating a core, make sure you check out exactly what, um, you know, each one has different benefits. Each one has different types of uh, troops that are boosted for it. Um, for instance, <clears throat> I think, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I think Aura has, is ranged, and I think, but, you know, I mean, ultimately, you can send whatever you want with it. I mean, but, you know, each of them have a different benefit. I, the Legend has a health boost on it, on that one, so there's, you've just really got to kind of look at the numbers, and we're going to go over that here in just a second to see what, what numbers are the highest so we know best how to use this gear in the best way um, so that, you know, we get the maximum results, especially if you're going after somebody, you know, pretty big. All right, I got all that done. So now let's go look at... Do, do, do. As soon as my game stops being a butthead. Okay, so stats, here we go. Now this is before it's equipped. So these stats that you see here are before any of your hero bonuses are added to it or anything like that. So you you know, you might want to give it a quick glance once you turn put it on and, and check out your full hero bonuses um, and exactly what everything's going to be um, done. So let's see, we got infantry. So your infantry attack is plus 4,206.37. It's insane. For infantry, strategic, and wild. Um, your infantry health is also boosted pretty well. But if you notice, your ranged attack is only at 931. And your cavalry is at 1,000. So 
you know, in this case, you're best to use your infantry on an attack. Um, and then your overall bonuses, your troop attack is 7,900, at least if you set it up this way. And your bonus is, uh, for troop defense is 3,891. Your health is 4,730. So you're, you're doing pretty well right there. But again, this is before I actually put the gear on and, um, you know, get any extra bonuses out of it. Once I equip the gear, those numbers are all going to change and they're all going to go up. So, like I said, once you equip it, you might want to take a quick peek to see. And for instance, I'll show you, um, if you don't know how most people do, but, um, a lot of people don't, I'm so tired of these stupid little gifts. They drive me insane. Um, like we'll put on my Pegasus attack gear real quick. Now, if you look at, and I'll give you an example here. If we go in and look at my Pegasus attack gear that I have, like I haven't even really messed with. So I probably need to go in and mess with it again. We look at our stats here and it shows us, let's get down here. Like everything's pretty even across the board. I get a little bit of a extra boost with cavalry attack. But um, as far as troops go, um, everything's just about even, except for that cavalry. Um, and then uh, my troop attack bonus is 10,284. And, you know, my troop defense is 4,600. And my troop health is 7,844. That's because I have a mix. I have onslaught gems and frozen health gems inside this gear. And so then... When I come to my power up here at the top, you click on your power and then you click on boosts. And then do 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 You'll see about the same numbers throughout um, everything because this is this is equipped now. Okay. Um, if it's not equipped you know, you're going to see different stuff. So that's why I'm saying once you equip the core and you go through and you look, you're going to notice that there'll be a change. Like, because the stats you're looking at in the core right now are different than what it'll be once you equip it. This is equipped. So, you know, my, the set stats and every, everything is matching at this point in time, but we got to equip the core so you can know what you're actually working with. Um, plus, you know, if you're running any boosts, if you are running an attack boost, defense, health, um, any of those, you know, you're going to notice that you're going to get even more and having a potion running. Another thing that you need to do whenever you equip the core, the first thing I do, especially if I'm going up against somebody who, you know, I'm a little nervous about, and I'm not positively sure that... I'm going to uh, make it without getting, you know, completely hammered is uh, putting on uh, not only having a potion running, but my banners. Now, right now I have the um, the power up banner, which is when you're wearing a core equipped or uh, empowered all the way up. Um, it needs to be a level five or higher. So we equipped ours to seven, but, um, you get these bonuses on your, uh, pretty much if you have it maxed, your gear maxed out, you get a 420% troop attack bonus. Um, it lasts one hour and once you use it and it burns out, it takes 30 minutes before you can use it again. Um, the other one that I'm using, like I don't have it in there now, but um, I switch it out with my bounty banner for my loyalty, but my hero health banner that adds uh, a health bonus of 700%. That's another one. It lasts for an hour. It takes a half hour to cool down. It's the same time pretty much as your core is going to be running. So, um, you have the ability there to, um, you know, get some extra power out of that. So when you equipped your core, Make sure, you know, especially, you know, if you're not worried about the guy you're going to hit, 
with this core and you're pretty confident that you'll be fine, you know, you don't have to waste any extra bonuses. But I always suggest running your um, hero troop or your hero health banner and your power up banner. And then, uh, you know, if you've got a potion running, great. And, you know, if you if you're really nervous, you know, and you want you want to make sure you cream this guy, you know, you've got your attack, your attack to buff, your defense, your defense to buff, your truth health, your health to buff. You've got all those that'll help you out, plus um, running a larger march size. Um, so like in this case, you know, if I've got my six gear on and I want and I'm going to attack with infantry, you know, I would send a mix of T5 um, and then, you know, regular strategic and wild uh, infantry. And then uh, send that. And, it, you know, like I said, if you have a 200% march boost, you know, go ahead and use that. That's 4.5 mil uh, troops along with your hero. And the reason I say don't just send all T5, like T5 are strong. And, I mean, if you want to use just all T5, that's great. But if you don't have a lot of your research done in the combat tree in that second half that requires the fire shards, um, you're really going to be uh, a little bit behind on the t5s because like you may have all your infantry research done in those other trees the the wild combat the top part of the combat tree the strategic combat stuff um or troops the wild troops strategic troops and just combat so um you know depending on how high you have your research is to whether you want to use regular wild and strategic troops when you send because um, t5 are definitely stronger but you need to have a little research behind them to make them ultimately strong and not just be burning up t5 troops because they are far too expensive to um to deal with so i hope you have enjoyed this video on uh, crafting a six core plus a ton of other little tips and tricks i hope that i will be making another one here in just a little while actually um i have somebody that wanted me to make a video on um on uh gift uh, you know fighting for a gift tile and so i really uh look forward to making that one i just have to remember to start recording a video while i'm in the middle of fighting it because, you know, either you end up sitting there the whole time and nothing happens, or as soon as you get to the tile, people show up and the battle begins. So it really, I'm waiting for a good gift tile to be fighting on, and chances are it's going to be like halfway through the beginning of it, but we're totally going to um, get that video made for you guys. So have an awesome time playing Game of War, and I will see you guys soon.